Please welcome Valerie Jarrett, Senior Advisor to President Obama, now Senior Advisor to the Biden campaign. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be with you. Let's start with how you are advising Joe Biden right now, and specifically, what's his technique? How is he preparing for this debate? Well, he's really looking forward to having a chance to speak directly to the American people about what he's going to do to make sure that we recover from this COVID-19 virus, that we build back stronger than before. The small businesses that have closed, we know need a jump start. millions of people out of work. Make sure that the vaccine is developed in a safe way and that it's distributed equitably. Uh, and send the message to the world that the United States is back. And he loves delivering that message directly. I'm hoping that President Trump resists the temptation to interrupt him. I'm glad that the, uh, that the commission has put in a new role of silencing everyone so that we can all hear directly from both people. All good campaigns in rematch debates always make adjustments, no matter how well they think they did in the first. Based on what you've seen in the first, what kind of adjustments are you, the advising team to Joe Biden and Joe Biden himself making? Well, I think he will just continue to explain why he has the intellect, the competency, the track record, the temperament, and the empathy to be president. And I'm hoping that he'll get an edge in, edge in, edge in so he can explain his track record to those who aren't aware of it. I had the privilege of working with him every day for eight years when President Obama was in office, and I saw how he approaches decisions. I saw how he was always the one to say, what's the impact of what we're proposing going to be on the American people? And I think some of it gets back to his roots from Scranton, where his own father struggled and lost his job, and, and he knows how hard it is for America right now as we are in really the worst economic crisis in any of our lifetimes. And I think that what you will see from him is somebody who understands what it's like to be in your shoes. And I think that's what America's hungry for right now. Someone who will run as a Democrat, but govern as a president for all of America. Now, this is a race where people are pretty well locked in on one side or the other. In this final debate, do you think there is anything Joe Biden could possibly do to win over voters who currently passionately support President Trump? Oh, yeah, I do. And I think that he will continue to try to do that, not just during his campaign, but after he wins. Uh, he realizes how important it is to have a leader who's prepared to go out there and to talk to people who might disagree on certain issues, try to make a case, listen to the other side. These are the skill sets that I think it, um, are necessary to be a good president. So I think, yes, there's still room for people to move, and he's not going to give up until the very last moment when the polls close. And then if he wins, he's going to get right back at it, trying to win over the American people and have them develop the bond of trust with him that is so important to govern effectively. Based on all the data that you have, based on your intuition, your experience, how many people are truly undecided in this race at this point? It can't be that many. And why at this point would they be undecided? Well, you know what? A lot of people are busy and they're not looking at the 24-hour news cycle that you and I focus on. They're just trying to provide for their families. Just think of this last year. People are trying to figure out if they're lucky, lucky enough to have a job. Are they doing it from home? Are there children in the background? Are they worried about sending their kids, whether they're preschoolers or college kids, off to school? I mean, we are, we are grappling with a lot right now. And so there are some people who are just now tuning in. And I think that that's that's as it normally is, but with this COVID, there's certainly a huge distraction for so many people who are suffering. Uh, so I think that there are people who are still on the fence, and this is a great opportunity for them, hopefully, to hear unfiltered directly from both men who are running for office. Valerie Jarrett, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Have a safe day.